Hi class, sorry I couldn't be there today. If you're watching this video, that means you know that we have a sub today and we do have a shortened schedule due to maps testing. So we're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna explain to you everything you gotta do today and then you guys can get to work. Um, so the plan for today is to finish your um, oil pastel drawing of your portrait. You are then going to turn it into project number two. Then you're gonna complete the 2D, 3D page update number two. And then you're gonna complete the artist check-in number six. This can all be found in Google Classroom. I'm gonna help you navigate through it. So you're gonna to go to Classwork. And in Classwork, you're gonna find the assignment at the very top called Project Number Two. Go ahead and open that up. And for this project, you are going to be taking a good quality photo of your final portrait drawing when it's all finished. You wanna make sure you crop it so there is no background. You can see there's no table, no backing paper. I'm completely flat with the camera. I also don't have shadows or sun glares. It's not blurred and the image is facing the right way. So use whatever editing tools you need to to get this to be the best quality picture. You are welcome to use your phone or your Chromebook camera you choose. Once you have the image ready to go, you're gonna submit the original image to this assignment called project number two. There you'll also find a rubric that tells you the criteria of what a finished product looks like. Next thing you'll move on to is the update number two. It's called the 2D, 3D update number two. And this is in the Creative Arts portfolio. So you're gonna go into your Creative Arts portfolio. You're gonna take the picture that you just took and you're gonna upload it to the page called 2D, 3D. That's the page that has the artist statement. That's the page that has your color wheel in it. And right next to that is going to be your uh, portrait. You are also going to give it a title in the large text underneath. The title is what do you wanna call it? What are you gonna name this portrait? You come up with the name of it. Underneath it in small text, you are gonna put oil pastel because that's the material you created it in. When you're done, you're gonna take a screenshot of this update and you're gonna submit it to the assignment called 2D, 3D page update number two. And final assignment for today is artist check-in number six. For this assignment, in a private comment, you're gonna tell me your choice color scheme in your portrait. The color schemes were monochromatic, primary, secondary, cool, warm, neutral, complement, or analogous. These are all provided for you uh, right next to your seat, taped to the table, or you can get that sheet also in the stream of Google Classroom. You're also gonna tell me the overall mood of your portrait. So I need to know the color scheme you worked in and then what was your mood. Here's an example, using my piece, this is what I would write in a private comment. I would say, I used cool colors. How did I know this? Well, I used purples, blues, and greens, and that's a cool color scheme. So I would write cool color scheme. And then um, the mood I was trying to create for this piece is an overall serious mood. And that's how I would answer that question in a private comment. Okay, and then I'll click the mark is done button for that assignment. If you are unable to finish all three of these today, don't worry, you can finish them up during class on Monday. Um, however, we are gonna be moving on to a new project very soon. So it's definitely important that you can get project number two finished up and turned in because that's gonna set us up for starting our next project on Monday. Thank you so much, have a nice day.